Hi, Andrew here for tabletblog.e. I'm at Showstoppers event at IFA right now. And in front of me, I've got the ViewSonic ViewPad 7E. It's a brand new tablet. We've seen it only in a press release, I think. And it should be a tablet for beginners. They said that it will start at 150 euros. So it's a very cheap tablet. And actually the specs are okay for that price. We've got a 1 GHz Cortex-A8 processor inside, 7 inch display and 4 to 3. And the resolution I think is 800 by 480, but I'm not sure. It could be a little higher. I will add that in the description of the video. So let's quickly take a look around the device. We've got on the bottom the four typical Android buttons, a camera on the top, here on the side we've got a micro SD card slot, on the uh, port for the headphone, headset, rocker switch for the volume, power button, and here we've got the connector for the PCU, mini USB and mini or micro HDMI out, I'm not sure. On the back we've got a camera again and the speakers. As you can see it's Plastic, but it actually feels good in the hand. It's not too heavy. It's not the lightest tablet, but it's not too heavy. It looks good in the hand. And we've got a resistive touchscreen. That's not that nice, but actually it's pretty okay. Let's turn this around. I mean, you only have to press your fingers a little bit. Not like the first resistive tablets we saw two years ago. It's a lot better. And you can use your fingernails and of course a stylus if you've got one for a capacitive touchscreen. So on here we've got Android 2.3 Gingerbread without the Android Market or the Google Maps uh, apps. Android 2.3.1 and the 3D Launcher which actually works quite nice on this platform. Looks good. I mean the tablet feels fast. Even though it's only a 1 gigahertz Cortex A8, but again, the iPad 1 had a 1 GHz Cortex A8 processor. Let's make an accelerometer test. Yep, and let's quickly launch Flickr. So, scrolling works fine as well, and we've got multi touch, even though it's resistive. We've got a. Wow, it's not. It was working before. Let's go to the gallery and check. There was working multi-touch. Yeah, we've got multi-touch even though it's a resistive touch screen. But it's very light touch, but still you have to press a little bit harder than on a capacitive one. Yeah, 150 euros, pretty cheap tablet, and I think for that price for a beginner, it's okay, especially if you want to read ebooks or just surf the web without a lot of movies or games. Also Angry Birds works, I saw it a minute ago. Um, because of the 4 to 3 um, display, it's perfect for ebook reading and web surfing. Okay, that's a ViewSonic ViewPad 7E at the Showstoppers event in Berlin.